Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about healthy motivation. What is motivating you to lose weight or to want to get fit? In the past, I felt like if I did not concentrate on all the bad things, all the things I didn't like about myself, then I wouldn't be motivated to get fit or lose weight. When picking apart the negative things about yourself becomes your motivation, and this can be applied in all aspects of life when you're concentrating on the negative and what you don't want. It becomes like a virus. It spreads and you start to notice other things you don't like. And pretty soon, I could not find a single thing about myself that I liked. You know those people that you just straight up don't like? You certainly don't want to do good things for those people. You don't want to go out of your way to make them happy to fulfill them. So if you don't like yourself, why do you think that you're going to do the things that need to be done in a healthy way, in a sustainable way for fitness and weight loss? This is the first step I took that turned the tables for my weight loss. I stopped concentrating on what I didn't want and I started concentrating on what I wanted. And I focused on my successes, on my progress, on the positives, on the things that I liked. That may seem really difficult right now, and I completely understand, but you just have to start out small. I think the first thing for me was my hair. I decided, okay, you know what? I always hated being a ginger. I hated being pale. I hated having freckles. I hated being made fun of for having red hair growing up. But I decided, you know what? That makes me kind of special. I'm a very small percentage of the world. <laughs> so I was like, I like my hair. And every time I looked in the mirror, I would just be thankful for my hair. But if you legitimately just can't find one thing that you're happy about looking in the mirror, be thankful for your body because you're alive. You're here and you're here because your body has not failed you. Start there. Second of all, don't beat yourself up about every little failure along the way. So if you're somebody who's constantly thinking, oh, I only worked out three days this week, or I only got one workout in this week, I went over my calories twice, stop thinking about those things. Start by thinking about everything you did right. If you only had one workout, think, man, I'm really glad I got that workout in. And if you start being thankful for the days that you hit your macros or that you stay within your calories and the days that you get enough sleep and the days that you take time to meditate and that you take time to work out. Concentrate on those things. Thank yourself for those things and those things will begin to multiply. Give yourself time. Be patient. The whole phrase, it took more than two weeks to put the weight on, it's gonna take more than two weeks to get the weight off, has never been encouraging to me because of the fact that it was always so hard for me to lose weight. And it's like, um, you know, it could take two weeks for me to put all this weight on and then take me six months to get it off. So phrases like that don't help me. So maybe they don't help you. But being patient, recognizing your successes, how far you've come. Even if you've lost half a pound in three weeks, that's half a pound that you wouldn't have lost otherwise. Concentrate on the good. Think about what you want, not what you don't want. Picture yourself where you want to be. Don't look in the mirror and think about how much you hate where you are, thinking that that will get you where you want to go. Think about where you want to go. See yourself there and thank yourself for each and every success along the way. Remember, your worth has nothing to do with your weight. Love and respect yourself. Enjoy life and be happy. Bye, friends.